In 1970, a group of Latino small business owners and community members were concerned about the problems of teen dropouts and drug abuse in Houston's East End. They banded together to discuss what could be done, and as a result of their discussions, they formed the Association for the Advancement of Mexican Americans. The founders of AMA included Yolanda Black Navarro, Roland Lorenzo, and Fraulein Hernandez. After they worked all day in their own jobs, they volunteered together to provide wholesome recreational activities for the teen boys in the neighborhood, and they enlisted others in the communities to assist in providing these activities. A few years later, the board realized that the teens in the East End, they needed a different kind of school, one that would take young people where they were and provide them with the resources and wraparound services to help them succeed. As a result, in 1973, AMA opened the George I. Sanchez High School, which was later named one of the first charter schools in the state of Texas in 1996. AMA later added adult education programs, prevention and treatment programs for children, youth, and adults, and expanded its network of services to other locations in Texas. Today, AMA serves 20,000 people each year in Houston, San Antonio, and Laredo. Our primary objective is to inspire and empower at-risk Latinos to pursue their potential and achieve success. We focus our efforts in the areas of educational attainment, workforce readiness, and leadership development. It is the same work we have done for more than 40 years. Only now, it is more apparent that we don't just serve one community, but the whole community. Our work touches all of Houston, with the Hispanic population at greater than 40% in Harris County, Texas, and nearly half 46% of Hispanics 25 years or older having less than a high school education, our work is even more important today. We will need the continued strong support of our amazing staff, community partners, board of directors and donors to help Latinos achieve their potential and in the process, ensure our city remains one of the leading cities of our kind in the world. The first leverage point is that AMA has been helping people in our community for more than 40 years, and we're seen as a trusted source of help. Second, our students and clients know we care. Most of them personally know a neighbor or a family member who has succeeded because of AMA. And finally, our model is unique in the way we pair education for at-risk Latino youth and adults with the wraparound services that help them succeed. Whatever their barriers to success are, we help them overcome those barriers and reach their potential. In other words, we take people where they are and we nurture them into the successful person they didn't know or even believe they could become. People bring their potential and they become amazing. What makes AMA so effective in serving at-risk Latinos is that we see the potential in every individual. Many of our students were not successful in traditional public schools. Many of the people who come to us had no real future. But we see a different future for each person, and we are dedicated to helping each one find that potential within themselves. We challenge, we push, we pull, we demand a great deal of our students, our partners, and our community. We're creating leaders. We are empowering a generation of young and old, in and out of the Latino community, to believe. To believe in themselves, to believe in the people around them, and to believe that the future can be different. Each year, we set measurable goals and track results for each of our programs. Some of the key indicators for our charter school are the retention rate, average daily attendance, the percentage of college and career-ready graduates, and the four-year graduation rate. 
Indicators for our adult education programs include contact hours, progress in English language skills, and the percentage of students earning the GED certificate. Ultimately, the measure of success for students in our high school and our adult education programs is matriculation to higher education or a certificate program and the ability to earn a livable wage. Our GED graduation rate is the highest in the Houston Literacy Consortium and among the highest in Texas. We are pleased to report that we have increased our four-year high school graduation rate by more than 30 percentage points. While we still have a long way to go, it's important to note that many of these students would not have graduated at all in a traditional school environment. A common misconception about our Sanchez Charter School is that it's an alternative school, when in fact any student who could benefit from Mama's unique educational model is welcome. Our strength is in serving at-risk Latino students, and we also offer services for both gifted students and special education students. New students and visitors are often surprised at the welcoming environment they find at AMA. Students come from many different places, and some face difficult challenges before they arrive every morning. But at AMA, they find a safe haven where they can leave their differences at the door. We are proud of the successes we have had in strengthening and expanding our programs, increasing the high school graduation rate, raising the qualifications for our staff in all of our programs, and piloting transitions programs that ease the way for high school and GED graduates to enter and succeed in college. We're especially proud that others have taken notice. We've received local and national recognition for our Substance Use Disorders Outreach Program. Our Early Childhood Program earned national certification from NACI, and the National Council of La Raza named AMA the Affiliate of the Year in 2012 from among 300 affiliates across the nation. Yet for us, our greatest accomplishments are those of our students and the people we serve. One of our greatest challenges is that our funding has always come primarily from local, state, and federal sources. As our funding model evolves to include support from corporations, foundations, and individuals, we are better able to fill in the gaps that government funding does not cover, stabilize our programs, and provide a seamless continuum of services. With the growing number of Latino families in our area, we will continue to face challenges of increasing numbers of youth and adults with English language and academic deficiencies, and the growing number of immigrants who will need assistance integrating into the community and shrinking government dollars to provide services in all areas. With additional resources, we could fully fund the comprehensive wraparound services that help our students and families succeed. Services like our Early Learning Center for children of our team parents, expanded after-school programs, student health services, experiential learning opportunities outside the classroom, and additional counselors to help students with academic, substance use, and crisis situations. We could expand and accelerate our leadership development initiative. Additional funding would allow us to expand our transitions programs that make it easier for high school and GED students to enter and succeed in college. With additional resources, we also could create a new master plan for our Gulf Freeway campus that takes into account the limitations of our property and the need for additional and appropriate space for programs that serve our community. As the Latino population in Houston continues to grow, it is no longer confined primarily to the East End. We know that adult students come from more than a hundred different zip codes in the greater Houston area to attend classes four days a week at one of AMA's five adult education locations. 
This suggests that there is a growing need for AMAS services in other areas of our community. If funds were available, we could expand our program to meet those needs. Currently, we offer residential treatment for boys in Houston and for girls in San Antonio. With the number of residential treatment centers for teens in Texas shrinking, AMA could help fill the gap between the need for services and the number of available beds if funds were available. The Hispanic Health Profile for Houston and Harris County also indicates there is a gap in services available for Hispanics, particularly in the areas of obesity, mental health, healthful eating and active lifestyles, and teen pregnancy. With additional funding, AMA could provide education and direct services to address those health disparities.